Breaking news. Federal government takes action after Sunday Igbohu petitioned UK Prime Minister on Yoruba Nation. Good morning everyone and thank you for tuning in and listening to this headline that we got to end this morning. As our headline for this morning says here that breaking news, federal government takes action after Sunday Igbohu petitioned UK Prime Minister on Yoruba Nation. Well, BFG takes action, summons UK High Commissioner over Sunday Buhu's petition on Yoruba Nation. Well, in Abuja, the FCC, the Nigerian government through the Minister of Foreign Affairs has summoned the British High Commissioner in Abuja over a petition submitted by Yoruba Nation agitator Sunday Ibuhu. Sunday, Adeni Adeyemu at 10 Downing Street, London. The development was confirmed in a statement signed by AMB Ishi Abiobe, the spokesperson of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, on Tuesday, October 15, 2024. High Commissioner acknowledged petition. During the meeting, the High Commissioner acknowledged the petition submission but pointed out that media reports on the matter have been largely misleading. While confirming the letter's delivery, he clarified that it was part of a routine process that allowed individuals to submit petition at Downing Street. The petition, however, was neither endorsed by the UK government nor the UK Paramilitary Petition Committee. UK government position on Nigerian affairs. Referring to the UK stance, the High Commissioner emphasized that the UK government does not interfere in the sovereign affairs of other nations, including Nigeria. He also mentioned that similar petition in the past has been rejected by both the UK government and its parliamentary petition committee. Despite the controversy, the British um, envoy reiterated his commitment to maintaining open communications with Nigeria military foreign affairs, stressing the importance of um, bilateral relations between the two nations. The meeting concluded with both parties are going to continue discussions as necessary to address the concern related to the petition. And that was all that for, for now concerning what was said here concerning this headline today this morning. We says here that breaking news, federal government takes action after Sunday go petition UK Prime Minister on Yoruba Nation. And yes, well of course I had it for me this morning. And if you're not a subscriber, the best you can do right here, right now. If you tap that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, leave a like on the video to get more updates concerning this in the next feature to come. Well, we have it that the federal government takes action on what the federal government do that we're talking about here. Well, the Nigerian government, through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, they summoned British High Commissioner in Abuja concerning the petition that Sunday Bo submitted. Yes. Concerning the petition that Sunday Bo submitted for the uh, Urban Nation. And this development was confirmed in a statement signed by Ishi Abdul Bey, the spokesperson of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. We all know that the federal government is all against all this Yoruba nation and all this Brafia nation of the team. Mm -hmm. Well, during the meeting that they had, this same commissioner, he, he, was, he acknowledged the petition submission, but pointed out that media reports on the matter that have been largely misleading. Mm -hmm. While confirming the letter delivery, he clarified that it was a part of a routine process that allowed individuals to submit petition at the 10 Downing Street. The petition, however, has neither endorsed by the UK government nor the UK Parliamentary Petition Committee. He said that the petition that Igbo submitted has not been endorsed by the UK government or the UK Parliamentary Petition Committee. He said that the UK it does not interfere with sovereign affairs from other nations, especially Nigeria. Hmm. This is how the matter be at that now. We all know that the federal government will go against everything concerning the urban nation or the Bifan nation. But into the comment section of Tavia, she may see one group who said that the country is not working together. Let It is too large to be one country. Let just part ways. That is the solution that everybody is bringing to the table. Mokud Gibo says that nonsense. Most Nigeria. 
be, most Nigeria be one entity. When the major tribe mostly wanted separation, when they we must surely get the we must surely get there. You can't force the people to be one when they are when they are apparently not. I be you. I be you. That's the final comment for us. They are forcing you to be something which you don't want to be, which you are not. Well, Mike Fasson says that how can they how can they want everybody to continue staying together in a country that all the leaders and the president does not have vision to wish vision no window no no knowledge and all they know is how to steal the country's money no staying together cannot work that is what everybody's bringing to the table staying together cannot work even because i really support that too because you cannot bring people with different ethnic bias together and instead of treating them good you're assisting their money and you feel that staying together will work no it ain't gonna work it's not going to work oh. well the same person says that a country that has 64 years old does not have its own company and, it's, and it, on its own what a big shame to the leaders of a country of 64 years old nothing to show nothing to show for it nothing well if the federal government wants to stop all this agitating, 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 I think he knows what to do. I think he knows the major thing he needs to solve. Because it's not by mouth. Or what do you guys think? Drop a comment in the comment section. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. Then tap the subscribe button as we go down with the notification bell. So anytime I'm reading a video, you'll be the first to get notified about this. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. I have a wonderful day. I love you.